Hi, it's Kerry here. Welcome to another edition of the Unscripted series. I wanted to uh, let everyone know that the website, my Moe website, is now back up and running and taking orders for my first uh, initial build slots. Those will be in October uh, to begin with. That's a little ways out, I understand, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time to get the shop set up, all the equipment calibrated. Uh, there's a lot of you know, very precise tooling that needs to, uh, need, needs to be checked and verified to make sure that uh, we can, can continue building to the standards that uh, Miami owners expect. So I'm here with the first four instruments that I built with Gordon and Char uh, under their guidance. And you may recognize where I am if you've been a viewer of their videos. I am in uh, the mayor home uh, here in the sunroom where Gordon filmed many of his unscripted series videos. And I'd like to uh, show you my first builds. Uh, you may have seen this one. Carrie Williams d demoed it on a video recently. A Myrtle uh, top, back, and side with the mahogany neck and machine tuners. It's my very first instrument that I finished building with Gordon and Char. The second is a sycamore. Uh, the main difference with the sycamore here being the peghead tuners you'll probably recognize. Otherwise, most of the same specs other than the different wood. The third instrument is this beautiful koa that uh, all these woods Char helped pick out. Um, they, were, they were from her collection. This is a beautiful koa top, back, and side also with the peghead tuners. And finally, a walnut cedar top with machine tuners. This was my most recent finish. You'll notice something about all these instruments. None of them have the, the um, very recognizable Maya Moe headstock. And that was somewhat by design. When I first came here to start building with Gordon Shar. I wasn't completely certain that I was ready to build to the same standards that my MOEs have always had. So I, by design, wanted to make sure these were not as recognizable as my MOEs. Uh, upon completion of these instruments, Gordon Sharp tried to encourage me to serialize these and have them become part of the my MOE uh, family of instruments. And I was very honored by that. Uh, I did not do that, so you will not see these four instruments on Uke Tracker or in the database. Um, before I even finished the instruments, I had already chosen to give them, give them to specific family, uh, family members. So those are going away to family members. However, new Miami instruments are being built beginning this fall, so check out the website. And until next time, thanks.